and welcome to this week's vlog. Um, excuse the glare, I've had to close curtains because it's nearly nine o'clock at night. Um, it is technically the last day of April, but you know what? End of April reading hasn't been great for April TBR, so I'm just moving on to May. Continuing the mood readish onto a second month because it's worked quite well apart from what I haven't read this week. Um, so yes, I'm starting my May TBR early. Um, I if you have watched my TBR video, you will know I'm doing the roll readathon round four. I've just realised how high this is. There we go. Not better much at all. If you haven't watched my TBR video, I will link it down below so you can go watch it. Um, but I will be starting with the Cinderella and Prince Charming prompt to read a book about a ball or a party. So it's The Revelry by Catherine Webber. It's not a long book. It is 200 and... 62 pages but i'm only planning on reading up to 100 pages tonight so i can technically class it as a mere read um, and i haven't done my book journal apart from that what else was going on this week um sunday is sunday monday is a bank holiday here in the uk so i'm gonna go shopping with three of my lovely friends sophie katie and ada um ada who i always mention um and we're just gonna go have a fun day i know i'm meant to be saving my points for london in november but do you know what after the crappy week I've had, I think I deserve to treat myself to a book or two. But yeah, I'm going to start end April and start May with a book I want to read. And this is the thing, this is why I'm doing a mood read May again. May again, a mood read month again, because I'm at, the, at all the books I kind of potentially pick for readathons, I'm giving myself the option of swapping and wanting to read them. So I need to carry this on, especially with Bookopathon happening this month. That's going to be... I, I don't know what's going to happen that weekend. Um, but yeah, so tangent over again. Um, I will probably not update you now until tomorrow when I finish this, because I will finish this, less than 300 pages. Um, but yeah, so I'll update you when I have finished um, this book. <laughs> this book, The Revelry. Um, and I may vlog a little bit of Monday, so you may see some B-roll of that. But let's see, because I'm not sure if the girlies want to be on camera. Hello, it is about two o'clock Sunday. I finished The Revelry this morning. Four stars, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, It kind of wasn't what I thought it would be. Yes, there was a bit of supernatural in there, like I thought there would be from the synopsis. But it was more about teenage relationships and friendships and how they can change. And yeah, really good book, but just some parts where I were like, this is, yeah, there's something else that could have been built on. But for what it was, it was a very good book. Um, so first book of May, done. I will be starting another book tonight. I don't know what one, but um, I will let you know which one because, when I read it because I've got to go to D&D because we're starting later today. And my bus is in like 25 minutes. So I have to go back. So I will update you later. Hello, it's Sunday evening. I am 20% of the way through Makeup Breakup by Lily Menon. This is the prompt for... I can't remember which couple. I'll link it down below. Um, but it is also my buzzword book because the prompt is to have a direction in the title and up is a direction. Um, you have Annika and Hudson, who are the developers of two separate apps for makeup, which is Annika's, which is to get people together in relationships. Hudson's is break up to break people up, or to help people break up. Um, and they're competitive, but they've also had a couple of nights together. And that's the story. Um, 20% of the way through so far, I... Annika, I do not like. Um, Hudson, he's a bit of a smarmy ass, but I think there's something going on there that we don't know because obviously all we're seeing is from Annika's point of view. Um, the story's okay. It's not too much to write home about. I am liking the plot with the side characters, so I want to see that develop, but I don't think that will too much. Like, you won't be the forefront, obviously. Um, but yeah, so 20% way through. Um, so I should get this finished probably early next week, but I'm not going to say tomorrow because I'm off shopping, I'm off book shopping, I can't wait. Um, I don't know if I will vlog anything, but if I do, I will, of course, pop it in here. Um, and I will do a little mini haul in this vlog of the books I get if I get any, which will be a yes. 
Um, so yeah, I'll update you with either a vloggy part, well, a B-roll part of book shopping or when I finish makeup work. Hello, it is Monday evening. Um, I didn't end up vlogging my uh, book trip today. Um, I got this photo that my colleague took, um, colleague, friend, but she's also a colleague. <laughs> um, after the shitty week I've had, I was literally like, Do you know what, I'm just going to go in. I'm not even going to look at my, what I want to buy. Like my wish list, I'm just gonna go in and buy what I want on the day. And I didn't spend all sixty pounds on my card. I still have fourteen pounds. Um, I did think I was gonna go in and just want to buy the Heartstopper um comics because you know what, I am obsessed with that TV show. I'm halfway through my third watch. I just think it's cute and adorable. If you haven't watched it yet, please do because it's just amazing. Um, but you know what, I walked in and I was like, actually, I'll have you. And I'll have you. And I'll have you. Which resulted in uh, a la water source bag. Um, so yeah, but before I go through my haul, I didn't really tell tell you. I had my hair cut. You can't really tell on this. Um, but my hair used to like reach over. There it is. So my hair's on there to me now, which is like obviously from the back. My back hair used to like go to like down there. So I've had like a good few inches cut off. Um, I work in a college, um, I don't know if I kind of told, but obviously it's a bit personal, but I work in my local college and obviously the students are always looking for volunteers and models and I was like, <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. Um, seriously, if you get ever, like, it, do it takes more time, but if you ever, like, you're like, you know what, I want a haircut and it's always cheaper, you're like, you know what, I'm a bit scared, no, a bit scrap for cash. Go do it because you know what? These are going to be the future hairdressers and they need all the volunteer they can get. And you don't go out looking like a mess. Like, look, I do not look like a mess. I look really good. The tutors check every step. The tutors love it as well. Uh, but you might find your new favourite hairdresser. And do you know what? The student's lesson, like the student I had, she was absolutely lovely. Um, and she was so nervous about messing up and she was like, Are you sure I want so much off? Because I. Originally I wanted six inches, but I think we went down to four in the end. Um, because she was really, really worried. And the tutor was like, do you not just cut four. And you can always cut more off, but you can't take a pair back on, which is a really good point. Um, and I got technical knowledge that I completely forgotten, but it was just so much fun. And you know what? It takes longer than normal. I was there for two and a half hours. But you know what? It's done... It's done in a professional manner and it's, you know, it's helping someone train. And like I said, it doesn't come out too bad. Um, not even too bad, it comes out perfect. And I'm actually booked in for a semi-permanent hair dye this week. I got asked my hair cut. Um, but anyway, tangent over, you're not here to talk about my hair, you're here to talk about the books. Um, so, let's go through them, I'll just pick them up. Um, so first of all, I got Cersei by... Madeline Miller. This is the same author as The Song of Achilles. Um, now, this is a book that Ada said I can use for Eric and Ariel because there is a mention of sailors, like there's a lot of sailors in this book. And one of the myths, and I can't remember which one, but one of the myths is mentioned, it's about mermaids. So there's that. Um, I won't read the synopsis till I read it. And this won't be in my book haul that I'm hopefully doing soon because I need to do an January to end of April 1 and it's technically the 2nd of May. And then I got book number 2 is We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Pfizer. There was a lot, is it Hafsa Pfizer? Pfizer, sorry, I'm really sorry about that, or Faisal. Um, shiny, shiny. Um, I love the cover of this paperback and obviously it was buy and get on half price which I will take off. Um, I don't know what this book's about, I just know a lot of people love it so I'll read the synopsis. Safira is the hunter, forced to disguise herself as a man. She risks everything to provide for her people. Nazir is a prince of death, a fierce assassin who is forever bound to the command of his father, the Sultan. Both are legends in their kingdoms, but kingdom, but neither wants to be. And when Safira embarks on a dangerous quest to return magic to their suffering land, Nazir is sent on a similar mission. But as their journey unfolds, an ancient evil begins to stir. Oh, I think I'm going to like this one. But yeah, shiny, shiny. Like it was literally just, I think I'd seen someone on TikTok re like recently like talk about it. And how, I think they get four stars. 
and I saw it on there with the buy one get on half price and I was like, okay. Literally today was just a treat yourself, Michelle. She Michelle. Today was just a treat yourself day. And uh, then I got The Agathas by Kathleen Glasgow and Liz Lawson. This is a water stuff exclusive, so it has cool shiny edges. It's not signed, I don't think. No, it's not because no, Michelle, there's no sticker on the front. Um, this one sounds very intriguing. I'm not gonna lie, it helped that Karen and McManus blurbed it. And actually, you know what? This means it goes for a pop sugar challenge prompt as well. Um, here we are. The most popular girl in school is dead and everyone is blaming the wrong guy. After falling from grace last summer, Agatha Christie obsessed Alice Ogle Ogle Ogilvy, why do I struggle with that, needs to stay out of trouble. When smart and reclusive Iris Adams just wants to get the hell out of Castle Cove. But now they have a murder on a murder to solve. There are clues that the police are ignoring, a list of suspects a mile long and some very dangerous cliffs. Amateur detectives Alice and Iris are about to uncover just how many secrets their sleepy seaside town is hiding. Oh, up my alley, I do think. And then I got Pilot by Jean Hand Coralitz. Um, I don't know, this has, so I thought I had pre-ordered this and I had it in my diary as a pre-order. I checked my Waterstones orders, I never pre-ordered it. So I think it was when I was gonna pre-order them to count. Um, but yeah, so, but I thought it wasn't that I'd, because I thought I'd pre-ordered it, I put it on my wish list, but I never knew why. Yeah. Um, so here's a synopsis, and actually reading the synopsis, I was like, that's why I wanted this book. When a young writer dies before completing his first novel, his teacher, Jake, himself a failed novelist, helps himself to, the, to, its, pla to its plot. The resulting book is a phenomenal success, but Jake queries, what if somebody out there knows? Somebody does, and if Jake can't figure out who he's dealing with, he risks something far worse than the loss of his career. Final two, I promise. Um, so the next one is Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth. I love this cover. Again, buy one, get one, half price. Brooke, ha Brooke Hunt School for Girls. Infamous site of a series of tragic deaths over 100 years ago. Soon to be the subject of a controversial horror movie about the rumoured Brooke Hunt's curse. In the early... In the early 1900s, Brookhant students Flo and Clara mad fell madly in love, brought together by their obsession for sc a scandalous memoir. A few months later, they are found dead in the woods after a horrific wasp attack, the book lying next to their intertwined bodies. Three more grisly deaths followed before the school was forced to close. Now the school's doors are open once more. But as a crew of glamorous young actresses assemble to start filming, past and present begin to blur. And soon it's impossible to tell quite where the curse ends and Hollywood begins. And the last book is Not a Happy Family by Shari Lepena. In this family, everyone is keeping secrets, even the dead. In the quiet, wealthy enclave of Brecon Hill, an older couple is brutally murdered hours after a tense Easter dinner with their three adult children, who of course are devastated. Or are they? Each stands to inherit millions. They were never a happy family, thanks to their vindictive father and neglectful mother. But perhaps one of them is more disturbed than anyone knew. Did someone snap after that dreadful evening? Or did another person appear later that night with the worst of intentions? That must be what happened. After all, if one of the family were capable of something as gruesome as this, you'd know. Wouldn't you? So there were all the books I got. Um, a nice mixed selection. Um, of course, you may be wondering, Michelle, what about the books that you started last night? I've made no more progress, um, but you know what? I'm not sure if i'll read more tonight i might get to the 100 page mark and then put it down even though i have a tbr this month i'm still mood reading um 
and if I'm not liking this anymore than I was last night and carry on and literally if I get to Friday and I'm like I've still made like little to no progress I'll put it down I'll do an effort maybe pick up work this month maybe not but I'm not forcing myself to read books I don't want to um I think the issue is that I'm not really liking I'm in character and I'm just like girl do I have to suffer for you for 300 pages um so yeah not a good look um and normally when it's I hate main characters or don't like them it's low rated yay um, which I don't want but I found that there does seem to be a pattern where the buzzword books this year are either one star two star or IDNF which isn't good because there's some books coming up where I'm like I really want to like you but I'm not getting in my head. Um, so yeah, that's the update for now. I'm hoping I will come to you Wednesday saying I finished. But let's see if that happens. Hello, Tuesday evening. I want to make this a really quick update because I'm on 35% battery. And I left my charger at work. I've just finished Makeup Breakup. It is a three stars. The main character turned out, I don't want to spoil, but I found I, I didn't like her and I didn't like her at the beginning, I didn't like her at the end. Um, and it felt very rushed at the end. You had this development for like nearly 200 pages and then you had 107 pages, or sorry, 121 pages of rush. So it was more build up than actual plot. Um, so yeah, it, three stars, it won nothing to write home about. But it's my first three stars for word a thon so I'm a happy bunny. Um, I'll pick up another book tomorrow, don't ask me which one it is, but I'll update you when I've got my charge. Hello, it's Friday evening. Um, you cannot tell, well you can just tell. I've had my hair dyed, um, you can just see the red. So it's semi-dyed red, it looks good. The curls are holding on in some places but they'll be brushed out. That's not why I'm coming to you. Um, it is Friday evening. I think I've already said that. I'm not sure. It's like half 11. So nice quick short update. I finished Rise of the Sun by Leah Johnson. This is for the Mulan and Shang prompt, which is to read a book with LGBTQI IA plus rep. Um, I gave it four stars. I really enjoyed it. The two main characters, I liked how they were flawed and they didn't have to kind of rely on each other so much to fix their flaws I will say which was kind of good um I didn't like the fact that some of the storylines felt left there was no conclusions so yeah couldn't get it five but definitely a solid four so that's my update for tonight um I'll hopefully update in the morning and you'll get a better look at my hair because I love the colour um and I have been booked in for a permanent dye as well so have I said how much I love working at college <laughs> Hello, it is Sunday evening. Um, I can't remember what I last updated you with, um, but I have started another book this weekend um, after Bryce to the Sun. Um, I am somewhere through it. It is for the Tiana Naveen prompt, which is to read Enemies to Lovers. Again, a bit like the Anna and Christoph one. I think I may have got this one wrong, um, but I can stretch it because I'm still getting a bit of Enemies vibes. Um, so I'm stretching it to the nth degree, um, but I will update you on that on next week's vlog. Um, but yeah, three books down for an eight prompt readathon. I don't think I can say I'm get a better start unless I've read like all eight, which is never going to happen. Um, but until the next video.